Have you ever tried to rip out a quark from its proton or from its neutron? No? Well, let's try this together. Hello, welcome to Physics Made Easy. In this video, we are going to discuss about quark confinement. What is quark confinement? Well, it just expresses the fact that a quark cannot exist by itself. It can only exist within the confinement of a hadron. This video is part of a series of videos on fermions. I recommend that you check the first and second video of this series just to make sure that you know what a fermion is. So what are we going to do here? Well, we are going to rip out a quark from its proton and see what happens. Let's make a proton. An up quark, an up quark and a down quark and I'm going to be cruel to it. I'm going to try to remove one of its up quark. I'm going to pull on it. So I'm applying a force on this up quark and starting to distort my proton. I apply a stronger force. The up quark starts to go away from the proton. It's still part of the proton. It's a proton which is deformed. What I notice is that the more I pull, more I need to pull strong to remove, to, to, to pull back the up quark. It's, it's a little bit if I, like if I had a spring and I'm pulling on the spring and if the spring is in elastic mode, well, in order to pull it more, I need to bring an even bigger force. So by the time that I nearly ripped off the up quark from its proton, the proton is still there but barely formed, I had to bring a huge amount of energy. And from this energy, so here's the energy I had to bring, from this energy will emerge two particles, an up quark and an anti up quark. Well, what will happen now is that this up quark is going to replace the quark I removed, and the anti up quark is going to combine to create a meson with the one I extracted from the proton. So my result will be. having a proton and a pi meson. So, what do I do if I try to remove a quark from a hadron? I need to bring so much energy that from this energy emerges new quarks that combine to form new hadrons. That means that I cannot find and I cannot make a quark stay alone. This is called quark confinement. Quarks can only exist within hadrons. So in this video, we realized that a quark cannot live by itself. It needs to be confined within the boundaries of a hadron. This is called quark confinement. Check the other episodes of this series. The first and second one are about fermions and their properties, while the next one, the fourth one, will be about antimatter, and the fifth one will be about neutrinos. Very interesting stuff, so check them out. In the meantime, good luck with your studies, and I look forward to see you soon in the next episode of Physics Made Easy.